here we have the angle of attack, okay? Now the angle of attack is gonna change from club to club. So I have a driver, a seven iron, and a pitching wedge, three sort of mid-range clubs in my bag, okay? So we'll start with the driver. So as you can see, the ball's on the tee. For the stance, we wanna make sure we take a little step with the left and a big step with the right. Now, because of the nature of the golf club, if I take a big turn, the angle of attack, okay, and the bottom of my arc is gonna be here. So because of that, we're gonna create an upward blow to the golf ball, okay? So we want to sweep this ball. So the angle of attack is very shallow to the golf ball, okay? When I change to my seven iron, you can see, put my feet together again, I go left shoulder, right shoulder, I tilt from the hips, so you can see I'm much closer to the golf ball now. So ball is in the middle of my stance, and when the ball is in the middle of my stance, if I take my backswing and I start my downswing, you can see the angle of attack all of a sudden becomes much steeper. So we're going to contact ball and ground this time. So it's going to have a much steeper angle of attack into the ball. When I get to my pitching wedge, when I get to my pitching wedge, the only thing that changes, because it's a more upright golf club, we want to make sure we stand closer to the ball. So much more upright. A very narrow stance for this shot. Again, ball in the middle of the stance or just back in the stance is fine. But what we can do because of that, because of the nature of the distance from the ball and the, the width of the golf stance, we create a very steep angle of attack. Okay, a very steep angle of attack. So when you hit a golf ball, that's when you see the guys on the TV creating backspin because it's a very steep angle of attack all of a sudden.